Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. Today, MEMA gets a glimpse of the devastation in Hamilton. Dozens of homes and businesses damaged or destroyed. Tonight, EMA Director Donna Sanderson gives us an update on the process of rebuilding. We are nowhere near through. We'll be working all day tomorrow. The sunshine paints a clear picture of the horrific scene in Hamilton and nearby areas. Hamilton was hit real hard, but we got debris scattered all the way up to the Itawamba, Alabama County line. I'm talking about major debris. As neighbors help neighbors cut up trees and pick up broken memories, the real work starts. Monroe County Road Manager Sonny Clay is asking residents to begin moving debris to the edge of the road. We do think that we will be able to get all debris, uh, whether it comes off a private landowner or whether it was on our right away to begin with, picked up. It may be four to six weeks before that happens, so we want the people to be patient with us because we've got to go through this federal declaration, even if Mississippi request one and we got to wait on the president to sign off on it so and then we'll have to advertise that project so we could be four to six weeks down the road and maybe even a little longer before that debris is picked up with the threat of more storms clay says there are a few things to remember don't cover up your drainage ditches we got some major rain i think uh, forecast for thursday emergency management has also set up a disaster hotline for folks who may need assistance the abundant life pentecostal church is also open as a shelter 48 hours after the twister, EMA director Donna Sanderson says she already sees a huge improvement. Monroe County has it, it, it's come a long way today. When I went out this afternoon, it was just amazed how much difference it was in yesterday morning and this afternoon. About that debris, Clay does want to point out if you have already hired a private contractor, they're not sure yet if the county will be allowed to pick up debris moved by the private contractors. A couple of other notes, the city curfew is still in place. Also, the Monroe County School District announcing classes will resume tomorrow. A Hamilton Tornado Relief Fund is also open at the Ampot Federal Union. That's if you'd like to make any type of money donation. Also, if you're donating any supplies, you can drop them off at the Hamilton Baptist Church.